Now, today's topic is focused on a certain type of woman. Not just any woman, this is a certain type of woman. This woman is the muse, the muse, the inspiration. Now, the woman who desires to be a muse craves, craves being the inspiration to inspire in her man to be the greatest version of himself. Hey, this won't be the cup of tea of every woman. This is for a certain type of woman, the muse. Fellas, is she your muse? Let's get into it. Get your glasses up, get your glasses up, a toast to the men. Masculine energy and feminine energy complement one another which allows them to reach their full potential. You know, masculine energy is oftentimes uh, seen in the realm of ideas, creativity. And feminine energy is oftentimes seen in the realm of the material world. And when those two things come together, man, you got heaven on earth. So, you know, this isn't for every woman. Every woman uh, does not desire to be a muse, to be an inspiration to her man, uh, being the greatest version of himself. Some women want to compete uh, with their man. You know, they don't want to uh, be his inspiration and be his muse. But uh, I would just hope that they're honest and the man recognizes this before he gets too deeply involved with her. Now, with the man, you know, he, he has all these ideas. He, he has these, these projects he wants to accomplish. Man, these, these grand thoughts. If he doesn't have a reason to get to working on those projects, to formulate those ideals, to materialize those ideas, they'll just be ideas. So what he needs, he needs someone that's going to complement his energy, his masculine energy with feminine energy. Feminine energy, like I said, is seen as being in the, in the realm of the material world. You know, mostly because, you know, the feminine energy, the woman has the ability to give birth, materialize, to, you know, stay grounded. She can birth. Now, not only can she birth, your, your child, your physical child, she can birth your ideas. That is the nature of, you know, the woman. Now, every woman, like I said, uh, is not for this, but I'm talking to the, the super feminine woman who wants to be amused, who wants to inspire her man. Now, there's certain ways she can do that. And these ways are nonverbal. You know, you can certainly inspire uh, being verbal, but I'm telling you as a man, a woman is more impactful when she allows her energy, her feminine energy to inspire from her, her mannerisms, her attire, her look, just her energy, her, her vibration. She's more impactful than what she can say. Now, there are those times that you know, what she may have to, to motivate. But as a man, we're inspired by how you act and how you look. That's what we're inspired by. And that motivates us to turn these ideals into manifestations. That's what it's all about. Listen, the only reason, you know, men want to, want to uh, get the cars, the homes, uh, whatever it is, the jewelry, the haircut, the clothes, whatever it is, you know, he's inspired by women. Even if he doesn't have a woman that he's in a committed relationship with, he's inspired by feminine energy. If not, these ideals he, he has, this creativity, would never be materialized or never be manifested. And so that's what the woman is to do. She's to keep them grounded. It's like saying, yeah, this is cool. 
uh, that you have these ideas. This is cool that you're so intelligent and you're so creative. But what's the plan of action? What 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 route are you going to go to make this happen? You know, and that's what the woman should get. Because if not, they'll never get manifested. And and I mean we you've seen it. The women listening, come on. You either got a man you with now, or you had a man that had a bunch of ideas. You respected his mind, but never nothing ever materialized. No, nothing was an actualization ever. And you know, you gotta ask yourself, were you his muse? Did you him did you inspire him? You know, and there's certain ways you can inspire men. For one, natural feminine energy or a natural feminine look. You know what I'm saying? I know women are getting these BBLs, they're getting this lifted, getting this implanted, but natural feminine, a natural feminine look inspires a man. It really does. Uh, to create. Now, I'm not talking about inspiring him to, to have sex. We're, we're talking about creating, materializing some things, some ideals. It inspires him. Having your own unique style of fashion. Not being trendy. You know, you may, you may take something here from there that, that's trendy. But you got your own unique style when you do your hair, when uh, your earrings you choose, whatever. If you got a nose ring, uh, whatever it is, your tattoos are different. Whatever it is, you got your own unique style that inspires a man. Being classy, yet sexy. Yes, it's possible. You can be sexy and classy at the same time. Yes. And having elegance in your social mannerisms. Yes. Being sexy, classy, and being elegant in your social mannerisms. Knowing how to speak, knowing how to carry yourself. You know, uh, knowing when to speak, knowing when not to speak, uh, knowing how to be appealing to his eye, but also knowing how to carry yourself like a lady, knowing how to be regal. That inspires a man. Another way, having a sense of humor. Yeah, yeah, having a sense of humor. Uh, Man, it's nothing like a woman who's sexy, who's classy, who has elegant, regal social mannerisms, and she's silly and proud. You know, when it's just you two, she's silly, she's goofy. And, and nobody would ever suspect that she's that goofy. That inspires a man. That allows a focused man, a determined man to unwind. You know, because he's going to need those moments he can unwind. And so that woman who has a sense of humor, she doesn't take herself so serious. And uh, she allows you to see another side of her that's going to allow him to unwind. You know, and then, hey, the next day, get back to it. You know, start creating, start manifesting. That's that's what a muse does, man. It's, a muse has a lot of influence, a lot of power. Uh, and that's what that's what abuse is, you know. The next thing is really get to know him on the intellectual side, right? If he has a dream about an idea, about a project he wants to formulate, get to know, ask questions. Ask questions about that dream. Ask questions about that idea, that project. Get to know him. Um, and then ask, 
what's the timeline? So what's the deadline? How do you plan on making this happen? See, those are subtle ways to get his head out of the clouds and say and say to himself, I have to uh, put this to action. I have to materialize this. I have to formulate this. I have to really create this. So now you're taking his head out of the clouds and bringing him back down to earth. You're basically telling him, yeah, it's cool that you have these ideals, but we need something tangible. We need to birth this. We need to create this and birth it. This is what we have to do. So you'll take his head out of the clouds and bring him back down. And you can do that in a subtle way. You got to know how to deliver that message also. The next thing is aim to be a mirror where you are a reflection of his light, where he can see himself in you. And you know exactly what he's thinking. And you inspire him to be even greater because he sees himself in you. And that's a beautiful thing. Uh, and when I look out, when I look abroad, and I see you fellows who are single, or I see fellows who are in relationships, and they're not creating, they're not manifesting anything, it's because, it's because they don't have a muse. They don't have that woman that inspires them. You know, it's not about what the woman said so much. She can say she wants to be a muse, but her actions will tell you if it's all about him or if it's all about her. Now, women, you being a muse, you being his inspiration, make him the greatest version of himself, but you're gonna benefit from that also. You're gonna benefit uh, from that in the material world, whether it's uh, beauty, peace, uh, anything you want, you're going to benefit. When he's the greatest version of himself, you're going to benefit. I'm telling you that I speak for most men. I can safely say I speak for most men. We men that are in relationships, we have these ideas. And once these ideals are manifested, we are more concerned about showering our woman with gifts and, and repaying our woman for being down, for being solid, for being an inspiration. We'll get her that car she wants before we get it for ourselves. We'll get her that house she wants and we really don't have to have that house if she wants it. Uh, we'll go on that trip she wants to go on. We really had no desire to go on that trip, but she's been down. She's been inspiration. She's been my muse. So this is how I reward her. So women listening, don't think, you know, you being his muse, you being his inspiration and inspiring him to be the greatest version of himself is all about him. No. Everybody eats. Everybody eats. It trickles down. Everybody eats. And and actually, uh, it's going to look like you guys, the wife, the kids, whoever, are eating better than her. But a man, if a man wants everybody to eat. You know, even, uh, you know, cousins, brothers, sisters, mom, fathers, he, he wants everyone to eat. Uh, this is just how we think. And so let's get the man to be in the greatest version of himself. Women. And just trust it. Trust it. But you have to desire being a muse. You have to crave wanting to inspire him to be the greatest version of himself. You know what I'm saying? Your intent has to be pure. Has to be righteous. And you just watch how those ideas, those those creative projects he has in his head starts, start to formulate, start to materialize. 
start to come out of the clouds onto earth so you can have heaven on earth. Trust me. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hey, as usual, for me to you, love, peace.